Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, we've got Captain Carlos on the wheel. We're aboard our CB370Z. We're outside Hillsboro Inlet doing some trolling, fishing a couple of planers, some baits up on top. Super effective technique. Strip baits, an absolute staple when it comes to trolling up and down the beach here. Another staple are rig ballyhoo, and that's what we're fishing here today. A couple different variations that I wanted to show you here. You know, this is a double hooked ballyhoo, got it underneath a blue and white islander. I mean, I'll tell you what, what offshore fisherman in Florida doesn't have blue and white islanders? It's the absolute go-to bait. Again, everything will eat this, the wahoo, the dolphin, the sailfish. What's important is that this bait is actually being covered up here and that prevents it from washing out as fast. It also creates a larger profile. Here's a different variation with a little chugger, looks like a little tormentor chugger, single hook ballyhoo, just dolphin candy right there, it really is. Sailfish will jump all over that as well. Nice bubble trail, protects that whole bait from washing out. A final variation here and also extremely popular, here's another single hook ballyhoo. And you can see I've got a little squid skirt, just a little octopus skirt over top of the ballyhoo to protect it. And then a purple and black sea witch and they all work. As far as the colors are concerned, I'll tell you, you can't go wrong with pinks, purples, blue and white, green. These are all of the staples. Sometimes the oddball colors, reds, pure white, that'll work as well. So it's always a good idea to have a variety of different colors, sea witches and skirts. And you know, if you start to see a pattern develop, obviously switch a couple baits over, a couple more baits over to that color. You just got a bite here on this planer bait. Go ahead and pull them back, Carlos, and just leave it in gear with the autopilot on. That's a nice thing about this Peruno autopilot. It's literally like having another person on the boat. Not a very big one, but it's a bite on the planer. You see, that's just it. You can never tell, you know, what you're gonna catch because everything eats these planer baits. Little king mackerel. Little king mackerel. Yep. Hey, look at that. Different species. Little king. First king of the morning. Yep. Awesome. Ready? Come on in here, pal. What a beautiful fish. Of course, certainly no giant, but perfect size for the smoker. Had both hooks in them. It wasn't going anywhere. No, it wasn't going anywhere. No. Nope. He just saw that, came up to it. <laughs> crushed it, didn't you? Get him on ice, get these baits set, Let's see if we can catch a bigger one. Yeah, that's him. That's back him. off on the drag, back off I did, on the I drag. I did, I did, I did. Okay. That's him. Dolphin, that's a decent fish, he's not that little. No, he's all right, he's 15 pounds. No. 10, 15 pounds. No. Dude, Is he? you need to check your vision, <laughs> seriously, again then. Maybe yeah, I need bring a new bring prescription, because he looked like five pounds, dude. You know, that's the one disadvantage of fishing a planer like this, of course, is you've got to hand line the Yo -yo fish. Yo-yo fishing. All the line is back in the water, so if the fish decides to take off, I've got plenty of slack to give them. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Look at that. I'll tell you what, that's part of fishing that I absolutely love is just, see, there he goes, there he goes, ho! Oh! <laughs> All right, pal, let's put an end to you. You know, it's just the colorful fish and just that whole aspect of it. It's just unbelievable. There we go. It's not too bad. Not Thank too you. bad. Uh-huh. Bigger than five pounds. Yeah, he's definitely a little bit bigger than I thought he was. I mean, he's certainly not giant, but... Keeper. Oh, yeah, for sure. Keeper, keeper. That's dolphin fingers right there, baby. Very beautiful. Really and pretty little very cow. Very delicious. Very delicioso. Hey, let's take a break for a second. Get this little dolphin on ice. Check out our rigging station. I want to talk to you about different size planers and exactly how we have them rigged on our planer outfits. So you can come out here. Bring home a ball. Bring home dinner. Right. <laughs>